Hi there, I'm Darren Wheatley from Foreverland. Today we're looking at aggregator apps for the decentralized web. An aggregator is an application that reaches out to get different data from various sources and bring them back so that you can add value to them. Popular examples are cryptocurrency exchange rates, stock exchange rates, currency exchange, and news feeds. In this series of three videos, we're going to look at doing an aggregator app from scratch. Let's take a look. So I want to start here so you can see how easy it is to find and deploy code to the Foreverland website. I'm just going to type in GitHub Tech News. And there's a few results. We'll take a look at the first couple. So what we're doing here is looking for a website template that we can use that will suit our needs. So this has a lot of news type items in it. Uh, the next one has a different look and feel, but again, the same news. Uh, I found one earlier from this gentleman, Prabham Magar. And that's the one I want to use. So I want to show you how to do this without using GitHub. GitHub is sometimes a bit scary. So if you go to click code and download zip, you can download that, that code into your hard drive and then just put it in a directory. So I've extracted the files here to this directory and you can see that there's an index.html file, a main.css and a script.js, as well as a bunch of images in the images directory. Once we load the HTML file, you'll see that there's various areas in this page and that's good for the example because I want to show you how we can use uh, just text or text with an image and, and try and make this page look quite interesting uh, using various feeds. But first we need to load it into GitHub. Once we've logged into GitHub, you just need to click the new button. Then at the repo screen, give it a name and a description. And leave everything else the same. Click Create Repository. So now that we've got the repo created, we need to upload the files. You could normally use Git tools to do that, but we're going to stay away from those at the moment. I'm going to click here to upload an existing file. Then I'm going to use File Explorer to copy these files in here. It takes a while. Now that that's done, let's commit those files. So now we have the files in the repo. I've got my GitHub settings set so that I determine what Foreverland can see in terms of repositories. So let's change those so it can see the new aggregator app. So here we are at the Foreverland hosting portal. Let's add a new project. It's connected to my GitHub and we can see the aggregator app. Let's select it. Let's deploy. The platform's now deploying that to the website. Today we looked at aggregator apps for the decentralized web. We searched and found our news HTML template that will suit our needs and deployed that to the Foreverland website. Next time we're going to change that template to further suit our needs and then finally bring the data in to make it a complete project. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe and comment below. See you next time.